Anna's new superintendent of public instruction received a big farewell from her students today in preparation for a move to the state house. And Glenda Ritz had more to say about how she plans to move forward on improving Indiana's schools. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox was there for the emotional goodbye. Most of the 600 students at Crooked Creek Elementary School were there today to say goodbye to Glenda Ritz, the woman who has been the media specialist in their library for so long. Administrators from the school in Washington Township told the kids that Mrs. Ritz would now be the boss of students and teachers throughout the state, and they all made her a heart-shaped goodbye with their arms. Listen and watch very carefully. You can help me send Mrs. Ritz off to her new office with love. Watch carefully. Ritz took the kids on the journey she traveled over the last year, showing them where she visited and who she campaigned with. She even took a modified oath of office, although the real one won't take place until January and she showed them where she'll work. It's going to be in that really big building called the Indiana State Capitol Building. <laughs> now don't, don't think that I have the whole building. Five, four. I just have one office in that really big building. That, of course, is Ritz's problem. She's the only statewide Democratic office holder in a building dominated by Republicans. She can't repeal some changes like school vouchers, but she says she'll work within parameters of current law to implement some things differently, like reading scores. I see a different implementation of that law, uh, whereby we're going to have some growth assessments. We're going to actually have some good uh, practices in the classroom. They're going to be discussed by educators. Um, and so I see a different way to implement the law. Ritz says passing reading should be based on observable growth in a student's ability, not a winner-take-all test. I'm Norman Cox, RTV6. Although Ritz wants to get rid of the pass-fail reading test, she says she does support requiring all third graders to be able to read.